when you're creating a show like this, what was the thing that you wanted the series to say that you felt was different than what you've seen in other cop shows? I think the big thing for me when I was thinking about the show is two things. You know, we often hear about, or whenever we see stories about immigrants, it's often stories about new immigrants. And those stories are really important, of course, but then there's all these stories of immigrants who've, Canadians really, who've been here forever, like the Sikh Punjabi community. And so that was the story I wanted to tell because in some ways we've all been here, but we don't always hear those stories. And so it really brings up all these interesting ideas and complexities around identity and allegiance. So that was one thing. And then the other thing I think was I was really interested in exploring ideas of justice and the possibilities of new ways of looking at justice because our system seems to be broken at times, especially for communities that are vulnerable. So, and with everything going on, it was just an attempt to move towards restorative justice maybe. You know, this idea of thinking of justice from a compassionate uh, perspective, from a perspective of healing and understanding instead of punishment. So those are kind of the two big things that really kind of drove me out or really inspired me. And Stephanie and I were, were, were drawn to Anar's beautiful show because we had created another show called Flashpoint, which uh, was very much a show of its time. It was about the human cost of heroism. We shone a light on cops. We portrayed them as heroes. And we live in a very different world right now. I don't think we would make that show again today. Those uh, episodes had closed endings, tidy resolutions. I think that Allegiance really shows us the limits of the justice system, where policing can improve. Uh, we have two wonderful cops at the center of it who have heart and humanity and compassion, and we hope that they're the people that are gonna come and help us. But at the end of every episode, we are left without that sense of closure. We know that justice isn't perfect, that every ending isn't tidy. It's a beautiful world to explore. And I think our audience will love those emotional fast paced stories, but we hope that they'll, they'll think a little bit about the world that we're living in, in a different way at the end of every Allegiance episode. Wow, I wanna watch that show. Very well said. So Stupinder and, and, and Rico, you know, stepping into these roles, how would you describe Sabrina and Vincent and their relationship? Sabrina's awesome. <laughs> and then? <laughs> now let me talk about your yes, character and, and yes, I'll and. talk and you talk about my character. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to. <laughs> um I, I do I do think what's really nice about the the two of them is and you know it happens in good writing is that there is um there is something that they need from each other when they first meet, you know. I think Sabrina coming into the police force has a lot of naivete about, you know, the possibilities of what the legal system could be. Mm -hmm. And um, I think on, on Vince's end, you know, he's been there for a long time and is a little bit, has lost, I, well, I don't know how you would describe no, it. No, go ahead, you're beautiful. Great, okay, thank you. Um, has, has lost some of that hope. Um, and I think that, so the two of them coming together is a nice, um, you know, Sabrina, like, has to take off her rose-colored glasses at times, and I think at other times, um, you know, is a little bit aspirational for, for Vince's character. I, 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 I would just like to add to what you said is um, this show, I mean, you know, when we, Flashpoint came up just as a comparison, the, what this show has that I don't think we had on that show was uh, humor, you know? There's, there's humor, there's humor in this show. Yeah, there is, Vince yeah. and their dynamic is, I mean, there are scenes that just tickle me that we got to play, that we got to do. And, and these, I mean, you know, it's like, he's the old wily veteran, she's the wide-eyed rookie, and you know, how they clash and how they come together. I mean, there are some scenes in the pilot, I hope, I don't know how they cut, but I can't wait to see them when they meet and mm. the awkwardness and just when you 
get to do that kind of stuff. It's like, it's just so much fun. So when you say step into something, Supinder and I, I think, just stepped into each other's sort of. Yeah, and I think that there was a you know, there were, there was you know some sort of symmetry between what was happening. Like for me, this was my first time being a lead in in a, in a series, and you know I hadn't I hadn't taken on something that was this sort of expansive and and this kind of workload. And uh, this guy over here, you know, he's kind of a superstar, and so he's been doing it for a really long time and had a lot to learn from him. And so I just showed up every day, um, and, you know, it might, like, Rico made my job really easy because I was just sort of stepping into Sabrina's shoes as, you know, my first time in her position being a cop and learning from this guy, again, who had been doing it for a really long time and was really good at his job. And so, uh, yeah. My favorite story near the end. <laughs> okay. We're looking at each other. And of course, you know, over four months, I just fallen deeper and deeper in love with this woman. So by the end, we're like, what would it have been like if we just <laughs> didn't like each other? It's like, uh, yeah. I guess we would just have made it about the work. And your reaction was, ugh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was I, just yeah. about the work coming in and just having to know your lines and just yeah. going, to and going yeah. through the motions. And then sometimes we would probably have had a conversation like, so what do you think the scene's about? <laughs> 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 I don't think we ever had ever, that conversation. Ever, like, ever, so, ever, you know, ever. like, I'm coming from... Yeah, yeah, the writing is perfect. The writing is beautiful. It's fun. You just have to show up and just... That's all. Yeah. That's And, you know, and and... and we have guilt over it. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> we was, have guilt over how much fun we were having. Yeah, some days it was a little bit too easy. Some days it was a little, we got carried little away. Bit, yeah. We got carried away. Yeah. But no one ever stopped us. We kept checking in with everybody else. Yeah, everybody really, seemed to yeah, be yeah, enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Nobody, and we, and we, didn't, and we, didn't, we didn't stop anything. We didn't slow anything down. Well, a couple of times couple you times. humiliated me to the point where I didn't, no, I didn't want to ever work with you, you again. You put yourself in that well, position. Well, you know what I mean? You didn't have to take advantage of my vulnerability. Well, you know. Um, anyway. You live and you we learn. Digress. <laughs> yes. But they made set so fun. You can see they're such an amazing dynamic. So it was always fun. Oh, my God. You had the first few minutes of the show, you two hooked me. Like, it was just like. The instantaneous chemistry is fantastic. Yeah, it, we really. It doesn't yeah. always happen, man. You know what? I it remember. Yeah. I remember that first scene, our first day, our first day, our first scene, the walk and talk to the car. Yeah. Um, and I remember you did a take, and it was great, and it was funny, and it was like full of a lot of stuff. And then like David walked over to you. Um, David Frizee, who directed the the pilot episode, and and you were like, "What did you say?" You were like, "He's gonna make me." He's going to bring it down. He's, He's going to make, make me bring, bring, it bring it down. down. He's going to make me bring it down. But that first take, it was just like, I was like, Rico's here to have fun. I'm here to have fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're yeah. we're in this yeah. together. And then and yeah. then the deadpan stuff or whatever, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. found it and we did yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. But like our, our, yeah, it was just, it was magnetic from the beginning. Well, we rely so much on the village, right? You forget, you know, it's like actors are just like the last piece in the whole puzzle. We're, we're the, you know, we get infantilized because everybody else knows exactly what's going on. They know about locations, they know about shots, they know it's set up, they everything. And we just come in and they just, they primp us up, they yeah, dress yeah, us yeah, up, yeah. they put makeup on us, and we, they just expect us to say and the words. And if you don't know your lines, they're going to tell oh, you. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this bullshit? <laughs> They're wasting our time. But it's like, we just, they, everyone was just so lovely because they really, because you're, you're the greatest. You really, really are. Sorry. The tone you set. Oh, don't. As no, you, the tone you set. It trickles down. It really does trickle down. And um, yeah, it's well, you know. They what? don't. They, we 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 won't fully understand how magical the whole thing of making this show was until you go on to your next lead role. Hmm. We won't. Very we, well won't said. we won't get it. Well, Supinder, I've got to ask, the first episode, that climactic scene, you know, cop shows wrestle with how to show drama when they're also trying to be professional, but she is very much exposed at the end of, of that scene. And I love the emotion there and how you worked with that. 
what was that like to shoot and, and what did it mean to you to to be able to play this in a way that is much more human than a lot of cop shows allow well i don't know about in terms of the playing because i think i like you know i think people come to acting from different and the thing that i loved about our our relationship and i think that the reason why rico and i do have a lot of chemistry is because um well, one, Rico can access emotion like that. He's crying right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I mean, are you going to mention We Be Cops or yeah, am I going to yeah, mention Yeah, we're going to mention We Be Cops. Yeah, we, we, there, there, is a lot of, there is a lot of emotion in the show, and I think that Rico and I come from, you know, it's, um, like, it's, it, there's only one way to play a scene, and that's sort of the truth of whatever is happening in the scene, and for me, you know, I'm, I'm going to cry about it myself right now. I lost my father two years ago. And so in that moment, you know, to see this young woman losing her father in a way, having him taken away from her at the drop of a hat, and my, my father died of a heart attack. And so as an actor, I'm always looking for, you know, what do I know? What do I know as a human about what this other person you know, that it's living and breathing in my body for the moment. Um, and so so I think that, you know, that's that's where that comes out. And and in a way, like, it is, um, it's, it's kind of fun because, you know, the stakes of the moment aren't like other, you know, other real moments in life. And you, you kind of get to, you, you kind of get a chance to go back to that moment and be in your body a little bit and live and breathe in it and 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 feel the yeah it's 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 kind of a cool thing that we get to do that not everybody gets to do um and and for me and I see it in Rico's work that those moments that are real and honest and true and we can find that humanity we we like to go there that's what I'll say about it wow amazing that was awesome well just to wrap it up on our mark I'm curious when you're creating the series and obviously there's the first episode is so relevant and it is so scary at the same time because it feels so relevant i'm curious for you both you know how is that a thread that we're going to see throughout the season and how important is that kind of story to tell the second season <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We're just waiting on Andrew's green light. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for the green light, Thanks, Andrew. Andrew. Thanks, man. Awesome. <laughs> CBC, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> um, without giving away too much, like, I mean, the show really does, we're not afraid to be critical of the police, uh, which is also what makes us different from other police shows. But at the same time, we're also aspirational and, you know, trying to be hopeful about possible ways of policing. And, and that's not to say that it doesn't always happen, you know. For instance, Paul Dadwell, who was the consultant, uh, RCMP consultant that I first connected with, when he heard about Sabrina's journey and what a compassionate, connected person she he was, he got emotional with me. And it was because that was his story. And, you know, he rose from a rookie to like, a, like um, one of the top gang um, officers in the country. And so I think it's kind of like trying to be more balanced and shining a light on also some of the challenges that we're having um, in terms of our polarized world, you know? And not to say, like, I honestly didn't think that the show would necessarily sell because I just thought, who would believe this stuff? And, you know, it's only become, so it was in development before we kind of started seeing the stuff in mass, in the mass news. And so it was um, just something that I'm obviously very interested in as just a person. So, cool. yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll add that it's, it's what these two have brought to the table that you saw in that pilot episode, that sense, that emotion and honesty that they bring to these roles. You said something about the actors being the last piece mm. Yeah. You guys are the last piece on the first day in the first episode. Yeah. But as we write those episodes going uh, down the line, you're the first piece because as writers, we get to anchor ourselves in what you guys bring to the table and your emotion and your humor and your warmth and your dynamic and your commitment to each other. Yeah. And that's what makes our job easy it's true. going along the road. Oh, you messed that up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I had never yeah. heard it that way before. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. 
Thank you. Thank you all for the time. Very much appreciated. I, I Thanks, definitely Andrew. hope to get to talk to you for season two. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, right on. Thank you.